This is me. I'm super excited to be here to talk to you about what we are working on at UC San Diego. It's called the Create STEM Success Initiative, and it really does live out the strategic plan in the sense that it links research with teaching, with public service. And what we're doing is truly learning to leverage our university. And we think we're on to ways of leveraging universities in general for K-20 opportunities to learn, meaning opportunities to learn on our own campus, but also opportunities to learn in the community around our campus, K-20 meaning kindergarten through the end of grad school. So I'm an anthropologist by training. I've always studied how diverse communities might work together better to share opportunity. I run a center called CREATE, the full name's in your program, and we work on equity. We care about getting opportunities to young people who may not otherwise access them. As an anthropologist, I'm really into metaphors, and we're using this metaphor of Archimedes and the lever a lot, because Archimedes said, give me a lever and I will move the earth. And at UC San Diego, that lever right now is CREATE. It's a center of doers and researchers who are now funded, thanks to our chancellor, to work with people across the campus and in the community to figure out how to make the most of UCSD resources for the most high leverage opportunities to learn for people on and off campus. To push down a lever, we need educators in the community. These are some of our graduates from education studies who now lead the biggest districts in the region. And we also need faculty and students on campus who care a lot about figuring out how to make the most of our resources. And we need your tiny heads on this slide as people who push down this lever with us to figure out how to leverage the resource of folks who have left UC San Diego. What is a university? I've been thinking about that a lot. On the one hand, it's a generator. So UCSD brought in about a billion dollars for research. The money goes to the research. In universities across the country, Universities can become sponges that are not fully squeezed. Those resources don't get off the campus to also support young people or teachers in the community. And at UCSD, we want to squeeze our sponge of resource for folks because we see a university as part of a pipeline, as part of pathways to skills, to degrees, to jobs for people who share a region. And we know that the pipeline leaks in a lot of places. And particularly in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, young people leak out of the ability to get a degree that they want. And this is really about the future of California. In California, for example, one in two young people is Latino. One in 10 Latinos in our state gets a BA. This is about the demographic, demographic future of our state and the nation. And it took people to think about how to fund a center like CREATE to leverage a lot of people in a collective impact effort to figure out what to do with resources from a university and how to put them to work to meet the region's educational needs. We're clearly meeting a need. We're about two years into this initiative. Uh, we have 200 plus projects heading more toward 250 projects at this point a couple years in that are each about trying to figure out how to take uh, the resources uh, of faculty, of students, through grants, et cetera, um, to make a difference in our community. If you come to CREATE on any given day, you might see us consulting with a bio professor about what to do with the outreach section of his greenhouse gas grant. You might see us talking to a graduate student who has a dream of hosting a conference where kids come to campus and learn from grad students. You might see us talking to a community organization trying to figure out how do I partner with the university, a student organization, what do we do with our energy in the community. These are the kind of projects we are working on this initiative. So we see ourselves as equity designers that create. We're researchers and we're doers who are trying to design outreach and education efforts that make a difference. So here's a thought experiment. You have a vision. You want to bring kids to campus to help have them look at science. Well, to do that, you need someone to write a grant. You need someone to take some of her summer vacation to help him, that's me, write his education plan. You need someone who wrote a grant for Upward Bound that gets the kids into a program to get them into campus. You need someone to teach a course who's going to host the kids to have undergrads explain the science to the kids. You need people. It takes a network. You might be thinking, I want to get UCSD students off the campus to do work in the community. We started a math tutor core that's helping with this key issue of algebra in our community. To do that, you need provosts who care enough to run a course and pay for it. Oops, we have to get the kids to the school. Well, we need transportation. How do we get that? Well, we need somebody in CREATE who's thinking about routes and a van. We need someone at the Center for Student Involvement who applies for the money to get the van. We need a local philanthropist who is willing to pay for the upkeep of the van. And then finally, you might be thinking, you know, to make the most of university resources, what if we invested in teachers as the ultimate multiplier of UCSD resource? And that's the final projects I want to share in my last few slides with you. 
Schools need science today. There are new science standards. And the question becomes, how do you get the university science into the classrooms of a community? And we've been piloting an approach that gets master teachers, you can't really see my thing here, working with scientists over in the gray, uh, spending the day together, and then honing lessons that get iterated over time in local classrooms. It's called lesson study. To do that, you need folks who are going to uh, connect to the scientists. You need people who are going to study the whole thing. You need people who are going to be there to help translate the science. And you need district folks who can find the teachers. We wrote a grant with a, a colleague at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography that is scaling this approach to many master teachers in our region. And we're going to end up with nearly 80 teachers uh, with lessons trained using UCSD science. Here's another one. I was talking to someone in the audience about the Achilles heel of math. Math is a huge issue in the STEM pipeline. Here is our math department chair up there, tiny in the left-hand corner. And we know in our field that if you don't learn math early, it's really going to cause you problems as you try to head through the pipeline. And in fact, if you can't pass Algebra 2, you're not going to get a BA in anything including history and literature, which is what I got my BA in. You're not going to get it. How do we work on this issue? We decided to write a grant working with a colleague in education studies who studies social networks to the Gates Foundation. And we're launching with about $2 million from Gates, a San Diego math network that's a regional effort to work with these leaders in our region to improve math teaching. We also work with complex systems. Computer science is one of the least available and least diverse STEM electives in high schools today. And Obama is announcing new support for computer science coursework. But getting the resources of the Jacobs School of Engineering, the, San the Supercomputer Center at UCSD, getting that to kids is no small issue. So we've been working on an NSF project that's about investing computer science knowledge in teachers, but also working with district leaders who spread that knowledge to lots of teachers and particularly do the heavy lifting of actually getting real courses in real high schools with real kids sitting in them for real credit. Final projects, we're doing a lot to get STEM opportunities to kids who wouldn't otherwise access them. We're working with the critical resource of the UCSD student and running bilingual science and engineering nights in community centers and in libraries. We are working on hands-on lab coursework that actually has UCSD students, again, learning to communicate their science to young people. And here's some examples of the kinds of events on and off campus where, again, we're leveraging UCSD resources into education in multiple ways. Last projects, we have a big project going on in community college math, which is where a lot of young people get stuck in the pipeline, not transferring to UCSD, for example. And to do a project to show you it takes a network, it took a create person working with folks at the community college, instructors, several of whom are alums of our university. It took a local philanthropist worried to help fund a course hosted by UCSD Extension. It took a doctoral student from my department to study that with funding from a social science philanthropist at UCSD. And we have a scaling set of courses with hundreds more kids now passing community college math. So these are the kind of things we work on. The last thing may be of interest to you. Uh, we we care a lot about, as researchers, helping to study and co-design undergraduate STEM programming, those research experiences, um, those retention experiences, to make sure everybody gets those degrees that they dream of. So I'll leave you here. If we don't do this on campuses, we stay that sponge. The, the resources of universities go unshared. And we think we're on to a way of leveraging universities that we think all, every university uh, should do. And I want to just invite you to talk to me after this if you have thoughts about how else to leverage our university's resources, including the precious resource of the graduate who lives elsewhere. would love to talk to you about it. Thanks for having me.